Whoa! Look at that! That's boiling hot. So, uh, it turns out that geysers are a bit fussy. Blossom tells me that a geyser needs three things. Heat, water, and a plumbing system. If they don't work just right, all you've got is warm dirt or hot water. Nice, but not a geyser. So, the heat boils the water, the plumbing system stores the water, and a vent shoots the water out. To make my geyser, you'll need to adjust each of these geyser parts using the controls on the right. You just need to make a few adjustments and you're on your way. I don't think that's a geyser yet. Now that's a geyser! Ready for the geyser surpriser? <laughs> I like that, yeah. You get to cook my lunch! <laughs> and I'm starved! While the geyser is on, shoot the hot dogs, dumplings, and corn through the water to cook them. Any bones you boil will give you a bonus point. <laughs> get it? But whatever you do, don't boil my ice cream. Now get cooking! <laughs> dumplings, now you're cooking! Steamboat Geyser is the tallest in the world. Its water shoots up to 400 feet high. That's as high as the 40th floor of a building. That is taller than Studio G, which is uh, one floor. Four. Now you're cooking. It says here that, uh, where am I? Oh, yeah. Humans can have a bad effect on geysers. When people toss in coins or trash, it clogs up the plumbing and can make the geysers stop erupting. Well, who would do such a thing? Hot dog! I love hot dogs! Now that's what I call a snack! If a geyser runs out of water before the eruption is over, it might have a steam phase. That means steam billows out for hours together with a very loud noise. Oh, perfect for my steam dumplings! Smells like lunch! Fountain geysers have a pool of water at their mouths, so when they erupt, the water and steam go all over the place like an explosion! Kaboom! Now that's what I call a snack! You would think nothing could live in such hot water, but some bacteria love it there. That's what gives some geysers their crazy colors. Ah, a tropical bacteria paradise. I know where I'm going on my next vacation. Dumpling. Smells like lunch! Fumaroles in wet areas have acids that melt the rock and become mud pots. Those are pools of boiling mud. They can hurl lumps of clay pretty far, so stay away. Ah, actually it looks a little like chocolate fondue. Smells like lunch! 
Only steam is made by a geyser with just a little water in its plumbing. That's called a fumarole. The word fumarole comes from fumus, the Latin word for smoke. <laughs> I knew that. Uh, no, I didn't. Safely through. Bonus. Horn. Yay! Ice cream. Now that's what I call a snack. Most geysers only erupt for a few minutes at a time, but some can last for days, and some never stop. Others can go years or decades without erupting. Whoa! Would you look at that thing go? When a geyser has too large an opening, it's called a hot spring. The water just flows out instead of squirting up. Now that's what I call a bubble bath. Yay! Ice cream! Nice! Yay! Ice cream! Smells like lunch! This is a cone geyser in Yellowstone whose top looks like a castle. That must be why they call it Castle Geyser. Another mystery solved. You're welcome. Dog, I love hot dogs! You're cooking! A probe with a video camera was sent down Old Faithful's standpipe. It found a cavern the size of a rather large automobile filled with vigorously boiling water. So, underground? It's the size of an SUV. Wonder what the mileage is on that thing. <laughs> Ice cream safely through! Four. Ice cream safely through! Ooh. Dumpling, now you're cooking! Geysers have even been seen in space, but they're not filled with water. One of Neptune's moons squirts liquid nitrogen, and Mars squirts carbon dioxide. Geysers on Mars? <laughs> what do they think up next? Nice! Smells like lunch! 
Water above the ground can take 500 years to seep down into the earth and be shot up again by a geyser. 500 years? So wait a minute, a geyser erupting today is shooting water from rain that fell even before great-great-great-great-great-grandfather Ruff Matterwitz was born? Wow. <clears throat> oh, sorry, where was I here? I went on a little tangent there. Woohoo! Ice cream! Ice cream safely through! Dumpling. Now that's what I call a snack! Geologically speaking, geysers don't live very long. They can always seal up or turn into fumaroles, mud pots, and hot springs, and they can always turn back into geysers again. Wow, would you look at that thing! Smells like lunch! There's a valley in New Zealand uh, that I cannot pronounce, so I'm just going to spell it. W-H-A-K-A-R-E-W-A-R-E-W-A, -E 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 valley, in New Zealand has lots of geysers. Legend has it that they were created by the fire goddesses breathing in and out. <laughs> That's a mouthful. That'd, that'd be a serious case of dragon breath right there. Even geysers that normally erupt right on time can have their schedules interrupted or changed forever by earthquakes. Oh no, my new cooking method is doomed! Now that's a geyser! I'll see you guys and gals in my next video. Cue the outro. Thanks for watching.